I'm moving better than I thought. Um, you know, right now, just ankle sprain, uh, listing week to week. Um, you know, I think it's, I'm probably holding out a little more hope uh, than most, but uh, he, he was responding better than I anticipated. Um, so we'll see where it goes in the next day or so, and, and hopefully we'll have him back sooner than later. How do you compensate for his loss? Well, it's going to be by committee. You know, it's it's one thing that you know, he, he adds a different dimension as a stretch big, whether he's at the four or the five, uh, opens the floor for a lot of guys behind him. Um, obviously, he can pick and pop, make threes. Uh, and defensively, you know, the combination of him and Gaff together has been uh, pretty good for us. So, um, you know, we got we got enough guys to, you know, play at a high level. But uh, whenever you're going to be without a marquee piece, it does impact how you play. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't extended. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just you, you got to keep going. You know, you forge through it. Um, it's unfortunate that it's you feel like every time you turn around it's something, but can't control that. And you know, th this group has shown enough resilience, enough fight, even when you're down a couple, to you know pick up the slack somewhere and guys step up. Um, and you know, it's a good sign for our guys. You know, that we're able to do that, but it's certainly not ideal. I don't want to put a game number on it. I think you know we'll we'll see where he is. Uh, give him enough time to respond, um, but I'm hoping it'll be sooner than that. Will he travel with you guys? Yes, he'll he'll, he'll travel. Look like Vernon Terry practice with you. Will he get an opportunity? Potentially, you know, without uh, KP, you're down a big. Um, you know, we've tried to get Vern uh, a couple stents, and he had some nicks and bruises that kind of took him out of that opportunity. So hopefully on this trip. Uh, there'll be minutes to, ha to, to be had, and he, he can kind of step in, and we'll see what he has. What did he show you in Capital City? Well, you know what? He's, he's been really good. I mean, just not only just the, the numbers, but how he's playing. Playing with good pace. Uh, he's using his, his athleticism, his body. Um, you know, he's stretching the floor a little bit more. I mean, I think he's done a better job defensively with his, uh, with his communication. Um, so the, all those things. You know, I give Vern a lot of credit from you know, where he was last year when we, we made the acquisition. Through the summer, you know, he really dialed into, you know, the details and his habits. And I think he's starting to benefit from some of that. The talking piece defensively, I would think, would be most important to you. Right? Yeah, for sure. That's that's an area that, you know, even this group needs to continue to improve. Um, and, and so many, you know, pick and rolls per game, it's really on the bigs to, to be that anchor, to communicate coverage early enough that you can impact the play. Obviously, not being able to play in that big lineup that you want to do, how does that kind of affect that mission? Well, I mean, we, we've played without those, you know, without that big lineup before. Um, and when you look at even, even now, you know, starting KP and Gaff, they're playing about, you know, 16 to 18 minutes together. So it's not a, you know, a long stretch. Uh, so there's minutes without, you know, two bigs on the floor with one big, whether it's Gaff, Taj. Um, and we have the flexibility to do that. And, you know, it's more minutes for, you know, other guys at the four, you know, bump down. You know, Corey, um, Jay Good will be with us as well. But, you know, we'll, we, we have enough bodies. So I think it's you know, a great opportunity for those guys. But it's not like this is unknown. Well, I, I leave that more to Tommy and his staff. Um, obviously, Goody's made the most of his opportunity. And you want to reward a guy for, for doing that. You know, that, that's what the, the G League is there for. Um, it's a developmental piece. It's a rehab piece. Um, and you want guys. You know, it's, it's a great story. Um, the, you get them in the fold. You kind of work with them. They understand our system. To get opportunity for whatever reason, and then they take full advantage of that opportunity, which he's done. So, um, you know, we'll see where it goes. I know it, it we're, you know, up, up, up against the timeline a bit, but he's earned the opportunity. So, you know, for, for him, I think it's a, he's putting himself in a good good position. With KP, just his success this season, how much of that is just the fact that he's been able to stay relatively healthy? I think that's a big piece. You know, he, he's had injury history throughout his career, and, you know, we saw toward the end of last year, I think he played 17 consecutive games. Uh, once he came back, and, and you know, thus far this season, he's been pretty durable. Um, to his credit, you know, it's it's one of those things that kind of haunted him, I think, over the last few years. Um, but his availability just gives him a chance, and I think he's been exceptional. You guys are, I think, are ranked 15th in defense, just according to Basketball Reference. What have you made of the defense this year, and um, what, what the trajectory that you guys have been on? Well, I think you know, it's been ups and ups and downs, but you know, I, I will say this: over the last 10, we're, we're eighth. So I think, you know, it's, it's trending in the right direction. Obviously, you have a long street stretch, you know, early in December. I mean, you lose 10 games in a row, it's, it's going to hurt you. But um, I like where we're headed. You know, some of that is the big lineup. I think some of it is our level of communication. Um, and I think a lot of it is just guys are more accustomed 
um, to doing what we do, doing it at a high level, and we're able to layer different things as far as game plans, have a little bit more discipline, a little bit more connectivity, um, and that cover mentality. I mean, that's, that's a thing that it's underrated. No one's going to play a perfect game. You know, schematically things will, will break down, but if you have uh, enough effort to continue to cover for one another. Uh, every stretch of the season is important, I know, but this is a particular stretch where maybe the schedule lines up with winnable games or more winnable games. Do you look at this stretch of, at this road trip? Yeah, I mean, I, I never like to look past, you know, the game in front of us. Yeah. And it, it, you always look back, you know, and say, well, the games that we probably should have won and, we, and you didn't, and there's a couple in there that maybe you stole that you shouldn't have. So it's easy to say that, you know, you, the quality of opponent or the strength of schedule, I don't really get into that. I mean, I think any, any given night a team can surprise you. Um, so, you know, we want to make sure we're, our approach is what it should be. Uh, you have a healthy respect for whomever we're playing, regardless of who they have available. So I think if you if you don't, it usually jumps up and, and bites you. So um, yeah, it's a terrific opportunity. We, we've struggled a bit on the road, and you know I think it's important for us uh, to create a little bit more momentum. And it is what it is. And you know you're leaning toward the second half of uh, 82 game schedule, so we have to make a move. Pretty much, you know, just picking up where he left off. You know, it's a tough blow for us right now, but. Hoping for a speedy recovery. Sorry, I'm out of breath right now. I just got the way wrong. <laughs> but um, really just, you know, picking up where he left off, you know, it was it's a tough blow for us, of course, but you know, we're hoping for a speedy recovery from him. But really just main task at hand, go out and play the same way, dominate the same way we've been doing. Um I mean just like Earlier in the season, we was kind of going through like the little hump of the 10 game losing streak. We didn't have that many bodies. We didn't have all our people back. So really just came out and just took care of business. You know, played with the guys we had, next man up mentality. Have you talked to KP? And did he give you a, uh, any advice or um, sense of how he's doing? Uh, no, I got a chance to fully talk to him. Just told him to have a speedy recovery, take his time, don't rush it. Because ankles are somewhat the most important thing on the body. <laughs> you know, especially for a big man, you know, for guys our size, you know, we really need our ankles. <laughs> talking, how would you say you're coming along in that in that realm, in that hmm. realm on the defensive side especially? Um, I feel like I've made progression throughout this year, you know, over the years of me being in the league. I'm learning as the days go by. I'm trying to really just progress with just my talk and, like, things that I see on the floor, ways to help us out throughout the season to just help us win games. What's second nature to you in that now? Like, mm -hmm. what's second nature to you now with that, especially? Uh, really just, you know, knowing our calls, knowing our sets, knowing the things that we need to do before the game, really just locking in to attention to detail on the things of, like, say, for instance, we're going to play Luca, you know, paying attention to the things that he does well and the things he doesn't do well, you know, and just trying to figure out ways to make him do the things he doesn't do well over a 48-minute 48, uh, 48 time span. What, what doesn't he do well? <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? We just, we just have to figure out ways, like, you know, most like today we were working on, you know, trying to shade him to the right most of the time, not trying, really just trying to get him to his left hand because, you know, most of the time when he gets to his left hand, a lot of great things happen. So <laughs> we're just trying to do as much as we can to prevent that. You know, I know it's going to happen time and time again down the floor, but we're going to do whatever it takes to prevent that, of course. What have you thought about the team's defense this season overall? Um, any other day, people would say, you know, we've had our ups and downs, but I feel like we're getting better as the games go by because we're starting to pay attention to detail, starting to lock in and have like more of a impact at the first five minutes of the game instead of like, you know, somebody coming out throwing the first punch against us. We're having to come kind of like play from behind, you know, throughout the time span.